Just getting back home from going to the movies. We just got through watching the Michael Jackson movie, This Is It. That was a very damn good movie. It was touching and it was morbidly sad as the anticipation built up. Um, apparently, you know, people thinking I'm not telling the truth. It's uh, 10 29 and the movie came out in limited release today. And it's going to blow up tomorrow. It's a big, a big release. So, tonight and watching the movie, it was very entertaining in several ways because you got to actually see behind the scenes in a megastar's life as they do, you know, a tour. I didn't think that they did so much, so much, and so much practice because you all know how I do my music. I don't practice, I just do it. So, from an artist's perspective, uh, watching Michael Jackson, um, you learn a lot um, because he is is just like directing his own music. I mean, as they do, he he hears it, you know, and he, you know, he's very animated. Um, I recommend going seeing it if you have a problem with Michael Jackson. I don't recommend you go see it. Um, uh, there was some controversy as to where is the actual physical well-being of Michael Jackson. When you watch it, there were some parts where he did look frail. Um, like some of the fans uh, complained that uh, Michael had been airbrushed and he looked a little too frail. And some scenes, um, it's the skinny like jeans that people wear, you know. Michael is Michael. He was funny. Um, he's, like I said, it was overly entertaining. Um, you got a little insight. I didn't like uh, the one guy that's working with Michael in it. Um, he was like, I don't know, it's, it's, you know he's, he, I guess he was part of the creative aspect of this tour. Um, uh, if I wanted to say it was a fictional movie, I didn't like that character. Since it's a real life movie, to me, he gave me a feeling like, damn, he's just ordering Michael around and leeching and Mrs. Michael and blah, blah, blah. And this is part of his vision, too. I don't know what happens at that level. I'm not there. But overall, it was an excellent movie for the family. Um, and you learn something and you feel something. Like I said, when the movie starts, it's a morbid sadness that, you know, the man died literally days after filming, you know, what was just practice, rehearsals. Um, it was well mixed, very well mixed, very entertaining how they moshed Michael Jackson's music. Um, you can see the several different, the changes, the three, I think of three major rehearsals based on the clothing um, Michael was wearing the three major rehearsals I think was you know something big and there was a couple other rehearsals you can tell because the clothes are different you know um, uh, he did several of his uh, hits I didn't see anything new so that leads me to believe that there may be a sequel already in the mix um, as far as uh, a fan's perspective, this will give some fans closure. Um, I got to see a couple people before they no longer, and I didn't get to see Michael Jackson, but this gave me a feeling of getting to see him before. You know what I mean? It's like actually seeing him before he passed. So, overall, I give the experience a nine. It's because there's a lot of curiosity involved. And you find yourself slamming your foot on beat, shaking your head. You find yourself looking around the audience and seeing all the heads bobbing and shaking. It was not going to a movie. It was not going to a concert film. It was going to Michael's house and sitting back watching his behind the scenes videos um, like I said the artistry was, was 
fantastic. Some of the special effects were off the hook. Um, what he had planned for his final show was no more than spectacular. I don't see any reason why they don't get 10 or 15 Michael Jackson lookalikes and put that same show on as a tribute to Michael's legacy. It'll go like Cirque du Soleil and, you know, this is it tour, you know, for Michael Jackson. And I don't see anything wrong if they was to do that because based on the movie, um, the show would have been mind-boggling. You're, had, you're sitting at a show and you're in the audience and you got 3D glasses on. Michael had 3D going to go down on his live show. Um, you know, they had the video screens. And, well, he had this big giant um, man created out of light that was going to walk in like a giant robot and he's got all these pictures and images and as he opens up, Michael Jackson emerges and this, <coughs> I tell you, would have probably went down as one of the greatest concerts of all time. And it is still possible. Because if you remember, if you remember anything at all, at one point they had a group of guys going around. And it was called Beatlemania. And they sold out in stadiums and shows. And, you know, until, you know, the novelty wore off. But if you do Michael Jackson's final tour, regardless of Michael Jackson is there or not, based on what he had planned for the people, as long as you're playing his voice, and somebody dancing like him, moving like him, and even lip syncing, it would not matter the way he had it set up. It's like being on a football team, and then your starting quarterback goes out, and then the backup guy goes in and still takes you to the Super Bowl. This project was that good. Um, and like I said, the way he had that team set up, anybody could play quarterback and get the job done. All they got to do is look like him and dance like him. He had already laid down the law. They already got the footage. Michael's already telling you how to dance. You might as well just go on ahead and do it. So for those who plan on going to see this movie, I wish it would have only had a two-day run. I don't wish it to be here for two weeks. I think in, you know, from a fan's perspective, you get more out of showing it for two days than showing it for two weeks. Because within the next two weeks, somebody will get them a bootleg copy. Because if it started tonight at 9 and ended tomorrow, or just say you start Wednesday and you end Saturday night. By then, that's way more than enough time for some idiot to slip a camera in. But the movie is worth going to pay. Don't belittle yourself by watching it on bootleg because you can't hear, you know, the, the symbol over here and the other effect over here, or the, you know, the stomping, stomping over here. And I mean, it's, come on. It was something that you got to experience. Um... Like I said, if you don't like Michael Jackson, don't even waste your money to go see it. If you're a true fan of music and you want to go to see a good show, then you might as well go see This Is It. And that's it. See you tomorrow. And remember, be somebody. <laughs>